They said it couldn't be done. They said you could never run serious professional Windows software on a tiny little computer like this. And for years, they were absolutely right. But this, this is an $80 Raspberry Pi 5 and it is running a fully fledged Windows native trading platform, MetaTrader 5. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I pulled this off. We're going to walk through every single step from setting up the Pi to the emulation magic that makes it all a reality. This isn't a gimmick, it's a real usable setup. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to build one for yourself. Let's get into it. So what's the big deal? Well, the problem is fundamental. MetaTrader 5 is a Windows application built for the x86 process processor architecture. Think Intel and AMD chips. The brain is basically every desktop and laptop PC. The Raspberry Pi, on the other hand, runs an ARM processor. It's a completely different instruction set, like a different language. You can't just copy the program over and expect it to run. It's like trying to read a book in a language you don't speak. Architecturally, it's incompatible. For years, the community tried to bridge this gap. We've had tools like Wine, which tries to translate Windows commands for Linux. But on its own, Wine has always struggled with complex apps like MetaTrader 5. It would usually fail during the install or just crash constantly because it was trying to translate x86 instructions on ARM hardware, which it just isn't built to do. Then there were the full on emulators. People still talk about a tool called Exagear that could emulate an x86 environment on ARM, but it was discontinued years ago, leaving a huge huge hole in the community. And other solutions like QEMU were, to put it nicely, unusably slow. You'd be lucky to see a chart update once a minute, let alone execute a trade in a fast market. A real-time trading platform? Forget about it. It was a dead end. Until now, the game has changed for two big reasons. First, the Raspberry Pi 5 is an absolute powerhouse compared to its predecessors. But the real hero of our story is a piece of software that automates the creation of a high performance Windows environment right on our Pi, handling that impossible translation layer for us. And that's what we're going to set up today. All right, let's get our hands dirty. This is the core of the video and I'm going to break it down into simple steps. Follow along and you'll have this running in no time. First things first, we need a solid foundation. You'll want a Raspberry Pi 5 and I really suggest the 8 gig RAM model, though you might can get by with 4 gig. They also just released a 16 gig version and for storage you only need a micro SD card. You also need to be running a 64 bit version of Raspberry Pi OS. I'm using the latest bookworm release. Once you're booted up, open the terminal. And the very first thing we have to do is make sure the system is completely up to date. This isn't optional. It makes sure all the drivers and system parts are ready. Just type these two commands one after the other and let them finish. sudo apt get update. And the next, sudo app get upgrade dash y. And now one final command, sudo apt full upgrade. With our Pi updated, we're ready for the magic. This is where things get incredibly simple. Instead of complex manual setups, we're going to use a tool called Pi Apps. It gives you an app store for your Pi. It makes installing powerful software a one-click process. To install it, paste this command into your terminal and press enter. After that, Open up Pi Apps from your main applications menu. 
go to the all apps category and find an app called Bot Spot Virtual Machine. This is the project that makes all this possible. Just click install. Now open the Bot Spot Virtual Machine app you just installed. This is where BVM really shines. It gives you a simple graphical interface that turns a nightmare setup process into a checklist. Your job is to work your way down the list from one to six. All the steps are clickable and super easy. Just click, wait for it to finish and move to the next. When you get to step six, run windows, there's one pro tip. Set the view mode to Ramina before you click run. Ramina is a high performance client that will give you a much smoother experience. The first time you run it, Windows will go through its initial setup, which will take a while, so be patient. BVM has even tweaked the installer to cut out bloatware and skip the mandatory Microsoft account. When it's finished, you'll have a Windows 11 desktop running on your Raspberry Pi. This is the moment of truth. Inside your running Windows 11 VM, open the Microsoft Edge browser. Go to the official MetaTrader 5 website and download the MetaTrader 5 installer for Windows, just like on a normal PC. Then find the .exe file in your downloads and double click it. The standard MetaTrader 5 installation wizard will pop up. Just click through it like normal. And once it is done, it should automatically open up. If not, you'll see a MetaTrader 5 icon on your Windows desktop. Double click it, and there it is. MetaTrader 5 running on an $80 Raspberry Pi. So it runs, but does it run well? Let's be real about what this setup can and can't do. The performance is frankly astounding for what it is. Basic charting is smooth. You can draw lines, flip between time frames, and apply indicators. All of this with very little lag. Placing orders and managing trades works perfectly. For running a simple expert advisor or a trading bot that isn't super sensitive to every tick, this setup is genuinely viable. The networking and even audio work right out of the box. Is this a high frequency trading rig for scalping the one minute chart during a news event? No, but neither is your typical VPS. Think of it this way, for monitoring your portfolio, running a medium to long term automated strategy, or as an ultra low power silent server for a trading bot it's not just viable it's incredible it's the perfect set and forget system that pays for itself in just a few months of saved vps fees so there you have it We've taken a professional Windows only trading platform and made it run and run well on an $80 ARM microcomputer. This little box can now do a job that used to be reserved for expensive, power hungry hardware or costly monthly server rentals. It's a huge testament, not just to the power of the Raspberry Pi 5, but to brilliant open source developers like BotSpot who build the tools that let us push these boundaries. This opens up a whole world of possibilities for low cost trading servers, educational projects, and remote monitoring setups. If this is the kind of project you love to see, pushing tiny computers to their absolute limits, then hitting that subscribe button is the best way to let me know you want more. And now I want to hear from you. What impossible piece of software should I try to run on the Raspberry Pi 5 next? Drop your most ambitious ideas in the comments below. I read every single one. I'm Jay Blinked. Thanks for watching. Peace.